Hey folks, Mark here from Iowa Falls Marine. Just going to do a quick video on how the brakes work on most of your average size boat trailers in the Midwest. This happens to be a Shorelander trailer sitting, uh, sitting here with a Crestliner boat on top of it. So this is your typical UFP brake style coupler. Now, how the brakes work, this is disc brake. There's no electrical brake controller that's needed on your vehicle to activate these brakes. It's all done when your vehicle stops. It pushes this coupler back. This coupler moves back, pushes this pin back, and activates your master cylinder. It's just like pumping your brakes. When this pumps, it's like pushing your brakes. So what happens when you're backing up? You would think that the brakes would activate because if you're backing up, it's going to press that pin backwards and cause that to activate the brakes. Well, what happens is on this flat five connector, so typically we've been used to a flat four connector. Well, this fifth wire, which happens to be the blue one, when you put your vehicle in reverse, it activates power to this blue wire. On the back of the master cylinder, there's a solenoid and it activates that solenoid and bypasses the fluid. So basically it knocks the brakes out. Um, so if there's an issue with your vehicle or if there's an issue with the trailer and that's not working, then you're not going to be able to back up. These disc brakes will lock up, if they're working correctly, will lock up and will not allow the brakes to activate. Now, what comes with the trailer, and if you don't have one, let me know. I've got them here is this little D-shaped key. So this D-shaped key can be placed in this slot when you're backing up. Now the thing is, see, it falls out. It, and it's meant to do that. They don't want you just to leave it in there because then your brakes won't activate when you're under normal driving conditions. But you can put a magnet. I've seen people put zip ties around it to hold it in so if you have to back up and you've got an issue with your vehicle or, or maybe you use a tractor or a four-wheeler or something at your house or at the farm to back your trailer around, we use a forklift. So with the forklift, I have a magnet that holds this in so we can push boats around because I'm doing it every day. That will keep this cylinder from pushing backwards and will keep your brakes from activating. It's a pretty simple deal. They work really well. A lot of people have questions about them. Some of my customers have questions about them. So that's why I'm making this video so I can give them a YouTube link and say, go take a look at this video. It's gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. If you have any questions about this, go ahead and comment or send me an email or give me a call at Iowa Falls Marine. Check out our website, iowafallsmarine.com. And hopefully I'll be making a few more videos on some of this stuff that people have lots of questions about. Thanks for watching.